Hi, I'm going to make an, I'm going to show you an example of something that I'd like each of you to do to incorporate somehow in the project you're working on now for the extended thing. You go to this Google Squared. All right, now you're going to search for something um, like hotels in Chicago. That's not particularly relevant. So let's say what is relevant for you guys would be Chicago music venues. And I click square it. Okay, so what's really kind of cool, look what I got. A whole bunch of places in Chicago, description, address, accepted payment, the average purchase I'm not so interested in, um, capacity, that would probably be a good idea. For now, just uh, I'm going to not use the picture. Okay, and then I scroll down the side here, and I notice there's more, and I could add a few items, or I could add the next 10. I know there's a lot of clubs in Chicago, so I'm going to add the next 10. Google automatically searches these out because it figured out that the things that go with club are description, address, etc., etc. If you think about this, it'll make sense. We can talk about it if you have a question. All right, so what I'm going to do next is I'm going to save my square, and I've already done this. So when my square is saved, the next step, and this is what you're going to do, you're going to go to Google, whoops, Fusion. What we're aiming to do here is to use that spreadsheet to make to automatically map all those places. So we're going to go to Google Fusion, and Let's see, I'm going to delete this so I, you know, so you'll see how to do this. I say new table, import a table. It's in a Google spreadsheet. I click on music venues. Oops, and I'm going to import this in. It takes a little while to import it. The, it'll take longer depending on the size of your database. I take a quick peek here and see that this looks pretty much like what I expect, so I'm going to just say next. Now, the column names are in the first row. That looks pretty good. Um, it's got the average purchase amount. I'm going to get rid of that. Um, I don't know that, you know, I probably would want to have capacity. So I say next. Okay, for now, I'm not going to fill out anything here. You can just click finish. Now this table has come into this Google Fusion. Notice what I can do now. I could visualize it as a table or I can visualize it as a map. Let me go right to map. So rather than me putting all of those clubs on one by one and having to figure out the geolocation this is going to do it for me. So what I need to do is kind of zero in on my map. I'm going to go closer and closer to Chicago. As I get closer to Chicago, whoops, we went got over to later. You can see more of the clubs coming out here now. Each one of these clubs will have the information on it. I could go back to the table and fill in the email for the Jazz Institute of Chicago. This is the work that I'm going to leave to you guys. But you see the general idea, and the closer we get, all right, so we'll eventually be able to get a really nice map very quickly of all of these venues. Notice if I wanted to, I could click and show, show it as a hybrid map. Um, and again, I can get whatever view I want. That is using Google Squared and Google Fusion to automatically make a map, which you then would clean up. Um, I hope most of you will do that for your projects. I kind of expect it. All right. Talk to you later. Bye.